Greetings, fellow portal masters. This is Phil Potomasters, I am Crash Rousland, and once again time to Crash Gun with episode 10 of the Giant Lock retry here on Skyline Giants here on the channel. Apologies for the lighting in my face cam, the light was beaming in, I don't know if you've seen uh, around the end of last episode, the light was beaming in, so the light's going to look a little bit different from this one. This is probably the last episode I'm going to be recording for now, so the lighting's going to look completely different next time around. But, thank you all so much for coming back and watching another episode of this series. Let's get into it. It's aerial attack. I don't want to waste time, but this is like the worst level in the entire series. Now, if you, of course, if you don't know what this is, definitely check the description down below to get a better description of what the lock is. Aerial attack, however, is one of those ones that's going to sit in the back of my mind as the one that killed the good ones. Oh, I think I got another email by the sounds of it. I did. Woohoo. But yeah, um, Aerial Attack killed both Eyebrawl and Tree Rex, if I'm not mistaken. Or Bouncer, one of them. He killed Eyebrawl, so I need to know. Aerial Element, Swarm kicking us off. So I want to get Aerial Attack of the because I can't stand it. So if you want more, dis more breakdown of what this is, check the description down below. And of course, uh, watch the playlist so you'll be able to get caught up on this entire series here. I feel like I have been ripping through these guys a lot easier now. I'm not sure why, but I'm fine with it. Oh, the stupid turrets. This level is so dumb. This level sucks. I don't care what anyone says. This level is horrible. I think the Skylanders team was like, I'm bored. I'm going to create the worst level in Skylanders of all time. And they were going to put it in Spire's Adventure, but then they were like, you know what? We don't hate, we don't want people to hate our game right out of the gate. They want us, you know, to take a while before they start hating it, you know? You I forgot Air Skylander does three shots. See that? And this part's so annoying, too. Like, I know it's supposed to be funny with him pop popping it out every time you go boom, boom, but like, it's annoying, dude. Three cannon ships. All right, let's get them. Come on, baby. Let's get this level over with. I just, I just can't stand this level. It's just like there's certain levels in the game. Luckily, the my least favorite level of all time is Griffin Park Reservatory. Except Aerial Attack is probably right there beside it. But like. Luckily, Griffin Park Observatory isn't a actual level that you have to do to even be able to continue. So, like, that's what I don't like about this, is this is a level that they force you to play every time. And it's like, ah, it's just annoying. <laughs> you, you can survive. You can survive. You, 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 you can survive this one. I mean, I feel like just finishing this level and continuing on with my life, but sure, I'll come up and quickly kick kick these guys, B Bunguses. I like how there was three guys. Oh, that was because I'm like, oh, there's three guys up. There was only one, but yeah, they, they were spread out on the ship. <laughs> we got a brute. I am brute. Let's see if I can take the brute out real quick. Yes, okay, brute took it. See, like, I shouldn't have been able to take him out that fast. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we're just doing a lot better. The whole time around. Oh, we got some brutes in here. Let's get in. Let's get inside there. Yeah, I'm not wasting no time. Come on. Undead? Hey, eyebrow. Let's get your redemption, buddy. This is literally his redemption arc. Because Ninjini got her redemption last episode. So this episode, we're going to have to get eyebrow's redemption here. Like, I'm killing these way too fast, man. It makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, get the armor off you. Get the armor off you. Armor all. Armor off y'all. Actually, it's what it's called. Except for armor all, it's armor off y'all. See, if I stay over here, I don't have to switch back. <laughs> I'm losing a lot of health. That was pure. 
beautiful. Really? But we've got more problems below deck. Head down to the <laughs> cannon again. I feel like the light is now like affecting my face cam. That makes any sense? This should work. Yeah. Why don't you go use that big gun down there and start shooting better? I'm working on it. I, I was gonna say, I don't like the fact that when you go from one boat to the other, it keeps switching the element. You think it would switch it once and that's kind of it. But like if I went over, if I walk back over here again, it's switching back to undead and then switching back to you know, like, it's annoying. This level's stupid! <laughs> I will shout that from the Sky Highlands. I'll go up there with the giant Hawk Mungus before he turns into Taekwon Crow, and I will shout it from the Highlands of how lame this level is. Really, I was just thinking of just letting him destroy you. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. Because I was totally hitting that, but okay. What an interesting weapon. We put a laser on an asteroid. <laughs> I think it's an asteroid. Okay, totally didn't want to get that, um, get that heart. So if you guys didn't know, the air element, I don't know if they all do, but I know the air one for sure does a triple boost. So a triple shot. So if you hold down the sh fire button, you actually shoot three. So it's good for like hitting multiple enemies at once sometimes. Or if you don't hit after the first shot. See, so you can kind of get them on, you sometimes get them on the other one. Look at that. Here it comes. Ooh, you almost actually got me. That was the first time that thing almost actually got me. Come on now. Can you not? Got him. Woohoo. All right, let's continue on. I think that's it, if I'm not mistaken. My hands are all clammy. I don't like that. Huge. It's huge. Hey, Peter. It's huge. Okay, that is pretty big. Yeah, you got me there. Yep. 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 Woo! Let's get it. Let's get this bread. I'm gonna have some bread after this, man. Ooh, I can't wait. I love Scott bread. Under. Undead! Unbread element. Scouts of the unbread element are stronger in this zone. It was Bouncer. Because it was Tree Rex. I was gonna say, it can't be Tree Rex. Tree Rex was my last one standing. <laughs> so yeah, so it was it was Bouncer. I lost Eyebrawl and then Bouncer, like, back to back, so. Come here, bros. Yeah. Oh, my health, though. Well, I got some, I got some armor, I got some uh, health then, though. Oh god, he had a jab on me. Hey, you, okay, glad to re. Well, that hit me. Oh, I got him, okay, come on. Throw me the bomb, throw me the bomb, throw me the bomb. Look at my health, I don't like that. Throw me the bomb, throw me the bomb. Smack. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, I gotta be careful with this, especially with my uh, lazy controller here. Is that a work up there? <gasps> yes! Give me a health potion, Oric! Give me something, buddy. Oric's gonna get me a health potion. Don't you worry. And I will stay up there the whole time buying health potions. To heal me back up, baby boy. Ooh. Come on, controller. Stop doing this. Oh, come on! The controller's having so many issues now with the left stick. It's not good for, like, key moments like this, man, where it's, like, so easy for me to get killed. Oh, gosh. Element change. Yes! Element change! Thank you! 
And this bouncer hasn't even been in this episode yet, so he's full health. Woo! Alright, we needed this. And you know what? Just for the fun of it, let's do this. Yes, come on, bouncer baby. Bounce, bounce, baby, bounce backer to me. I don't know, that was I was trying to do words. We gotta get one of these guys gone. Oh, I killed one of the bombs. Oh, there you go. Never mind. I got the bomb anyways. Yes! Come on. Another bomber? I don't need another bomber. I got I got the bomb used. Oh gosh, I keep getting in a stupid way. Oh yeah! Woo! Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Which way do I go again? I have to go around this way and hop over his blade, I guess? Yep, yeah, let's go. Oh, one dead crap. Okay, I gotta switch back to eyebrow. And be very careful. In a way, I'm very glad I'm switching to eyebrow because I think I have to go to that big battle coming up as eyebrow. So, like, I think I need it. I think I need to actually be able to get some health on the go before I actually go to it. Okay, let's give it a second. Yes. Kablam. Oh, go around, go around, go around, go around. Probably it's hello, Auric. Hello, my good friends. Very good to see you, Auric. Very good to see you. Very glad to see you, actually. We're going to do this. Yes. Okay. You know what? Let's grab y'all Chompy Chomp Down. 100%. Let's buy that from you, man. Oh, my. Yeah, my frames are. My frames are dropping, bro. I can see them. <laughs> On my on my face cam? Oh, it's not good. It's definitely yeah, it's definitely the lighting. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. That should work. Okay, let's get out. Alright. And put the controller down. I need the health. I need the health. I don't care. So I will sit here and just let him slowly gain his health back. Yeah, like I I don't care. I need this. I need this to happen, right? So like we can walk around. We can walk around the outside here, which is kind of funny if you think about it. I can walk around the outside of the place where the air Skylander is. Like, he's like, oh, man, can't get in there. I don't remember where to go, but, like, I'm not leaving here until my health is back. Like, I, I don't care. I legit don't care. I will sit here and get my health all the way back because I need it. And that's how it goes. That's how it works. Is I'm, I'm, I will I'll legit just sit here the whole time, you know? It does take a very long time, though. <laughs> Only gives me, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. Up every five seconds, I get ten health. Oh, well. You can skip ahead. See, I would, I would put a thing on the screen being like, skip ahead this part to get past the healing process. But, like, you can. Someone in the comments can do it. That's fine. It works for me. But I'm just hanging out here. Um, let me tell you the story about my concussion. Because this is going to take a little while. So I, I mentioned last episode I got a concussion, right? So I was letting Maggie out to pee. And uh, I the front my front door I have is just this big wooden front door. It's this big blue wooden front door. And it's heavy. So if you were to open that door, you'll, you actually have to put a little bit of girth to it to make it actually work. So I let her out like I normally do. I would open up my first door to get her out, and then I would open the second door. Normally she's with me, but sometimes she's a little bit behind me, so I stop and turn around, let her come up, and then open the door, right? So I open the first door. She's behind me. I turn around to look at her to say, I was like, all right, come on, Megan, open the door. And the door comes up and hits me right here on the side of the head. So right here. So you see where it is on my head? It hits me right here. The side of the door smacks me in the head. It hits me so hard that my glasses shift off my face, and I just go, oh! And there was an audible thump. So the girlfriend goes, what happened? I was like, I just hit my head off the door. And of course she laughs about it and I laugh about it too. I'm like, haha, we hit her head off the door. Or I hit my head off the door. I'm like, whatever. Thought it was nothing. So I go downstairs. I let, We get Maggie outside. I get her stuff. I go downstairs and I'm standing there and I'm like, ooh, I'm like, that really hurts. Like I actually got a good clock on my head, right? I was like, that actually hit me on the head really hard. Interesting. Felt, we fell a little bit off, whatever. I came out and had some, he told her. I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling 100%, right? I was like, it did, I'm like, that actually really hurt. So I looked, I was like, is there a mark or anything? She's like, no, looks fine to me. I'm like, okay, cool. The next day, 
um, I had the day off, which was good. So I was like sitting around the house, relaxing, and I just felt off the whole time. Like I didn't feel 100%. Um, I felt, I started getting tired really quickly, which is like an, a thing for me, which is never a thing for me. I don't ever get like super tired out of nowhere, especially in the middle of the day. So my biggest thing was I'm like, okay, I'm like kind of odd, felt really tired. My head was kind of like hurting and in that one spot. And you know, I just didn't feel 100%. So I'm like, oh, whatever. I'm like, I'll just sleep it off. So I took a couple of pills, went to sleep that night. Woke up the next day, feeling o feeling all right. I'm like, eh, I feel still a little bit off. I'm like, odd, right? So yesterday I mentioned to, the day before I mentioned to my girlfriend, I'm like, you know what? I'm like, I don't feel 100%. I'm like, maybe I actually did hit myself harder than I thought. And just thought maybe it's just like, whatever. So the next day I went to work. I got to work and the lights were hurting my head. Every sound was annoying me. And it just felt really weird, right? So I'm just like, okay, that's odd. Um, this is really weird. So slowly but surely, I started feeling worse and worse. So I messaged a friend of mine who's actually had concussions. I said, what's the sign of a concussion? Because that's the only thing I can think of. I had a bunch of stuff happening to my head and eyes and stuff, right? Which is weird. So she listed out everything. And the number one out of all of them, the only thing I didn't have was nausea. But after I hit my head, I actually got a little bit stomach sick. Like I felt my stomach a little bit like queasy. So... I said, okay, I'm going to see how it goes. A little while later, I started feeling worse. I said, no, I can't do it. I'm going to have to go to the hospital and see what's up. So my coworker drove me to the emergency room, dropped me out there. About an hour and a half later, long, very long story short, the doctor was like, you had a mild concussion. He's like, I wouldn't think it's, it's a crazy one that requires x-rays or medications or anything. But, or he's like, I can just see like from your eyes and the way you were describing everything, you did have a mild concussion. So he gave me the rest of the week off from work. I was ho I went home that Thursday. I was off Friday and Saturday, and I was also off Sunday. On Friday, I was just sitting around the house, like, just trying to not focus on things because the focusing hurt my head more than anything in this world. And um, what was it? And I was, like, looking at the screen. It would hurt, and I'd look away for a second, and I'd look at the screen look away. And then on Friday, on my actual, like, normal day, I was like, okay, well, let's give it a try now. So I started playing Final Fantasy, actually. And it didn't hurt. Okay, we're fully, we're full. We can go again now. Um, and I was like, it didn't hurt as much. Like, it was still, I still felt a little exhausted. So I'm like, okay, I'm actually a little bit better. And then on Sunday, I'm like, okay, we're going to do the, the real test. I'm going to, oh, crud. I'm going to test myself and see how my head works by recording a little bit. And that was actually when I recorded the Honest Half Hour episodes with Ember and the couple other ones. So, like, I recorded a bunch of those, and I felt okay. And I'm like, all right, I actually feel good. Like, I'm, I think I'm good. And that's the story of how I got a concussion. <laughs> if you guys skipped ahead, you're going to be like, wait, I missed a concussion story? Long episode. Aerial attack usually is, unfortunately. Because of that. Uh, here we go. So, yeah, so we're back into it here now. There's my story, my concussion story. Shout out to me for getting a concussion by hitting my head out the door. Only, that's funny, because, like, it was funny. My girlfriend was the clumsy one in the relationship. But now she can legally be like, yeah, I've never got a concussion hit my head off a door, though, so. Sandwiched you in the corner. That shouldn't have happened, by the way. I shouldn't have been able to get him so easily. Le legit, I shouldn't have been able to kill him that easy. They, he gave me a big run for my money last time. Oh, there was still, a, there was still an archer left. I didn't know that. Hey, John Benjamin was still here, guys. Y'all don't know what that is. That's uh, that's the guy who voices Archer on the TV show. He also voices Bob on Bob's Burgers, my one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, I'm ripping through these characters way faster than I did the original. I got his achievement. New hat. I got a hat. Oh, God. Here we go. Okay, okay. All right. Take you out. Can I take you out first? Can't take... Yes! Jeez, that didn't take long at all. That should have been way fast, way longer. Come on, come on. Yes! What? How am I killing these guys so fast? I don't get it. This makes no sense how I'm killing these guys so fast. This is not, this is not a normal thing. We're going to go grab and grab this health real quick. Because I remember seeing... Yeah, I was going to say, I thought I seen a watermelon over here. Oh, 
What? How am I tearing through these guys so easily? I'm, I mean, I'm okay with it, but I don't understand how I'm doing it, you know? Okay, well, there's your... Oh, my gosh, guys. Eyebrow was in the sun so long, his glow-in-the-dark feature is working. Look, you can you see it on the camera. Like, <laughs> he was sitting in the sun so long, his glow-in-the-dark is working. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. That's very funny. I like that one. Oof. Looked like it hurt. Oh! God, that did hurt. That actually jump scared me. <laughs> oh, pizza! I was going to say, yeah, Bouncer needs some health too, I just realized. Oh, am I going into the final fight as Bouncer? I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm going to be fine because I can just do this move over and over again, but... Yeah, let's get through this. This is a long episode, guys. Yeah, okay, it's the final episode. I'm fighting it with... Is it Bouncer? Okay. Am I going to be True Rex? No, I'm Bouncer. Okay, all right. I thought for some reason I was going to switch to uh, Life, but I was playing as True Rex because, you know, I killed everybody else. Okay, there we go. Can I get you guys from up here? Can I get you guys anything? Some death? Okay, perfect. I was gonna say this is the only real op the only real move I can do, really, because it's so easy to get trapped by him, right? Ooh, watermelon! Yes! Watermelon sugar. Hi! Oh gosh, okay, let's um We gotta have to do this. We're gonna have to. Because we got two knuckle dusters and um whatever Brock is again. I think I took down the main, the other one. Oh, I took down the, I took down Brock's, Brock. Oh, come on. Oh, he's down. Okay, come on down with me, bro. I took one, I took one out. I took one, two out. Let's go. Give me, yeah. Does that count? No, I missed. Throw me another one. Throw me another one. I was going to say, why did it take so long to explode? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Throw me another one. Throw me another one. Throw me another one. Throw me another one. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, I was gonna say that one hit me, but that's fine. It's okay. Okay. Throw me another one. That counts. Throw me another one. Oh, that one, that one. Hey, aerial attack done. Hey, how are you jumping? You can't do that. Yay! Okay, I don't understand how I beat that one super easy, and then last time I didn't. Did I not do... Did I not go into the fight with, um, Eyebrow full health? That is the only way I could have lost that one, in my opinion. Let's go! Ten episodes in! Still all the Skylanders remaining! <gasps> Ugh! I hiccup there. That's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this episode here. I'm very surprised at that one. This is a longer one. Thanks for sticking around. If you skipped ahead through the um, concussion story, that's probably fine. I fully understand. But if you guys enjoyed, let me know. Leave a like and a comment below. Come back next week for another awesome episode of this series. And remember to answer the question of the day to make me feel all happy. Now, quick little thing. I said last episode I was going to mention this. I want to ask you guys if you like this format. The fact where I just play the levels and don't actually play the story. Because by the time this episode comes out, I'm probably going to be getting ready to record the next lock. Uh, if I don't, maybe it'll be a week or two afterwards. But regardless, um, do you like this format? So let me know in the comments below along with the question today if you want me to try this format again. Because the next game, I think, is going to be Imaginators. I haven't fully decided yet. So if you guys want me to do Imaginators where I just do the levels, let me know by leaving a comment below. Okay, so let me know that, and we'll kind of go from there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week for another awesome episode of this series. Y'all mean the world, we don't ever forget it. But as always, I bid you farewell.